Hey, what's up and welcome back to my channel. Now today I'm going to be giving a review for the D-Case, I mean the DC Showcase Animated Short, Batman, Death and the Family. So this is a DC like universe film. Now the thing that's kind of cool about this is that it's actually an interactive movie. Now it's actually a retelling also of this uh, DC uh, animated original movie right here, Batman Under the Red Hood, which is very awesome. I really did enjoy this one a lot. Now it's actually a retelling of this particular uh, film, you know. But this time you actually have to choose the way that you uh, you want to see the film, like how you want to watch it. You can choose the outcome of it, which is kind of cool because I don't think I ever have watched any kind of like animated film like that, you know, or any kind of film like that, if I can recall, you know, unless you choose which uh, direction you want the film to play out in. That's kind of like the downfall to it, too, as well. I touched on that, too. But the uh, that thing about it, we all know that Under the Red Hood was actually like uh, based on a graphic, like a novel, too, as well. Like the story known as uh, Batman Under the Red Hood. Now, I must admit, I wasn't too big on this particular graphic story, you know. But I always thought the actual animated film was awesome. That, that, that was based on this story. I always thought this was good, you know. Very good, you know. Now, this right here is a, a death in the family. Which is uh, actually what uh, Under the Red Hood actually takes place after, you know, like this rare, you know, which featured like the death of uh, Jason Todd, you know. So, uh, now this film right here is actually like a, a combination of both of that. It, lets, it has like a, which was basically what Under the Red Hood was. And like I say, it really is Under the Red Hood because Under the Red Hood was just like that too, like the animated film. So it's basically like that film. Just basically being retold, and you actually can choose the outcome of what, how the, uh, the story itself will play out. Now, it's so it's still, I guess you could say, kind of superb film. But the one thing about it that makes it different from the previous Batman Under the Red Hood animated film is this time you have like Bruce, like Bruce Wayne, like it's like Cafe or something like that. And he's telling the story about like what happened with Jason Todd and Red Hood and all that. He's telling the story to this particular person that you can't really see, like right sitting right in front of him. And I'm not going to spoil who the person is, you know, but once you actually see him, you're like, oh, you know who that was, you know, you can kind of get an idea of who it was and then there's real <laughs> who he was, who Bruce Wayne is actually telling the story to. So that, those parts of are actually new, you know. But you do have like a moment in the film. Now, this film has like seven different outcomes that can be, uh, I think, chosen or revealed. Now, when I actually watched one of the ones that I had watched, I, I admit, the one I chose was the one that was the one where Jason Todd did die as Robert. I went with the actual true story of how the story went in the comments. But that was the only time I was actually able to choose it, you know. And there was never any other moment throughout the whole film, which is like short too, you know, where I was actually able to choose like another uh, which way the story would go, you know. So I never, that was kind of like, kind of a, a kind of a disappointment, kind of a letdown, because I thought you would be able to constantly keep changing, it, you know, and choosing it, you know. Now, if you watch it like a certain way, it probably would have been different, you know, because it does reveal to you before you watch it that there's like seven different things, like endings or outcomes to the story, depending on which way you choose for it to go, you know. But overall, I will touch on like the actors and actresses and all that, but I just leave it at that, you know. This is still a pretty uh, solid, entertaining kind of film, you know, because it's basically just like another retelling of uh, Batman Under the Red Hood. It's like Bruce Wayne is actually just retelling this animated film over again because you see all the scenes, all the major moments from this particular film. So it's like you're really watching this all over again with commentary, basically, you know. But you had the new moments of Bruce Wayne talking to this guy, telling this person the story about what happened and so on. Like I said, it's kind of cool who it turns out to be, you know. But in um, Batman Death in the Family, I'm going to watch this some more because I want to see like, the other outcomes, you know. Like one if I let Jason Todd live, you know, and so on. I'm gonna do, I do want to see what else they got in store for that. That's probably where all the different stuff will come into play, you know, if I watch that, you know. But I definitely recommend this, you know, I guess I get it's like a solid uh, B- because it still is like a pretty entertaining film. It's basically just Batman Under the Red Hood, the animated film, you know, over uh, again, you know, basically like a retelling of that, you know. So I recommend this, you know, please leave a comment and uh, subscribe too as well.